Hello, this video is to let you know about a few free plugins for Beaver Builder that will allow you to create these kind of border effects. And I'm just going to scroll down this page so you can understand what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, we've got this slanting border effect and we've got bigger triangle, small triangle and this kind of curvature effect. Now this page was created using a standalone plugin by J7 Digital called Shape Borders and this is available for free on their own website. So you need to come to j7digital.com, go to their plugins download page and there's a whole heap of them. But as you can see here, this Shape Borders. So you just press get it now. It works like a shopping cart. So you'll be sent an email email with the download and also your own serial for updates. Now, very similar to this one is one called Row Effects, and this is by Powerpack. Now, you might know Powerpack already because they create a big plugin for Beaver Builder that contains something like 35 plus modules and a whole heap of templates too, and it keeps growing all the time. So they've created a light version for the WordPress repository. In fact, I can just go over to that there. So it's on WordPress entirely free, so you can download this from the back end of your WordPress install. And with it, you get all of these extra effects here. Now, this is very similar to Jay's. The only thing I think that it has that's a different effect is this sort of cloud-like effect over here. But otherwise, it's pretty similar, but it does behave differently, which I'll look at in a minute. And third is this, which creates a similar effect, but just for columns. So this is column separators for Beaver Builder. And this one's by Brainstorm Force, who you might also know because they are the team behind the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder, which is very similar to the Power Pack setup. It's also got something like 35 plus modules and a whole heap of templates. And each of these have some very different modules within their packs, their premium packs, but uh, there's a lot of similarity and a lot of competition between them too. And quite interestingly, this has come out in the last week, I believe, uh, this where you can add these effects to individual columns. And it was something that was actually a part of the Power Pack Premium, which they haven't included in the light. So, and it wasn't included in the premium of the Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder, but you can now get it as this standalone one here. So if you're a Ultimate Add-ons user, you can grab this and it'll be of use there if you're only using the power pack light then you might want to grab this because you can add this uh, to the effects that are available i hope that makes sense okay so i'll come back to each of these and just have a look in the back end but first i just want to let you know about this site itself if you've watched my videos before you'll know that i like to create these live demo sites and i've done one just for free add-ons for beaver builder and i've added quite a lot of other ones around uh, but I'm still adding to this. I'm still creating example pages, but you're welcome to come here. The link will be below. And all you need to do is to answer the simple capture that's here. Press try demo, give it a little bit of time because it creates a new install of WordPress with all of the examples in, and you'll find that you're logged in and can play it around with them as you like. Okay, so let's go back to J7 Digital. I'll go over to that page and we'll go into the page builder. And I can just show you how this works. All of these are fairly simple. You can work it out for yourself, but I can just mention a few differences between them. So here, once this is activated and installed, Shape Builders, there's a link also over here. You'll see that you can see in an effect here. It doesn't look like that when we're in the front end, but we can see it here. Now, to find it, you need to go over to the advanced modules as part of the normal Beaver Builder install but you can find his plugins by just looking for the asterisks. That's an indication that they're being added and there's shape borders. So that just needs to be dragged in. And once it's been dragged in, you come into this screen here where you've got the choices to decide whether they're going to display each of these effects on the top or the bottom of the row. You can drag in two and have it on both. And you've got the option to set the background color so it matches the row above or below. So as you can see, that's a gray because it needed to match in with the gray of my header. And if you want to play around with the mobile stuff, it's just like any other Beaver Builder module where you can go over to the advanced tab into responsive layouts and decide 
what devices you want that effect to be displayed on. Okay, so that pretty much covers that. I, I like this plugin. It was the first one that was created for this. I like the fact that it's kept over, over here and not part of the interface, as you'll see in a minute when I move on to PowerPack, that it does it slightly differently. I also like the way that this behaves when you adjust the responsiveness on it. I think it does a better job. But otherwise, we'll have a look at row effects here. We'll see in some way this is a bit more advanced. So let's just go into the power packs row effects and go into the page builder and we'll see some of the differences. So with this, once you've installed this pack, it will add its own set of modules over here. But this particular effect is not included amongst that. You actually need to go into the row settings and you'll find there's a new tab here for separator. We can turn it on and off. You can select the types of effect that you're going to have, the color the same. But here it's got this extra advanced setting where you can actually determine the size of these effects. So with the big triangle, I can set the size to that differently. And that's the same with all of the individual effects, which gives more flexibility. And here we can set whether they're going to display on mobile devices or not. As you can see, I was just looking at the top separator here. So you can apply bottom separator effects all in one screen. So a lot of advantages to this plugin. It's easier to use, a bit more flexibility. It's got one more effect on it. The only downside of this and why I would probably find myself using J7 is the fact that you download a whole pack and um, most of these modules I probably wouldn't find myself using. And even though there's a flexibility, I'm quite happy with the defaults that are in the shape borders here. But otherwise, you know, particularly smart headings is a really good module to have. So the real nice little pack just to have for free. The, the other downside is the fact that there's a small bit of advertising when you go to the settings to obviously persuade people to go and try out the premium version of it as well, which you don't get with J7 Digital. And I have spoken to Jay Ovins Hennig quite recently, and he said that he'll probably be updating his shape borders when Beaver Builder 2.0 comes out next year. So that might be some changes there as well. Okay, so finally, let's go over to the Brainforce one. So I'll just go over to that page and we'll head into the page builder here and it's pretty simple as you can see here we've got some dialogue to show you that it's there and that this doesn't show in the front end which is right so this is similar to the j7 plugin in the sense that you go over to the advanced modules it doesn't give you an indication there's no asterisks on there so you have to sort of just go by name so we can see it here we've got column separator and we just drag that into the column that we're looking at and click on it for all of the examples and here we are there's the shape that we can pick we can decide whether that's showing at the top or the bottom and obviously we can drag in two if we want top and bottom again same color there and with this one like with the power pack one you can actually set the size of those effects and here as with the J's one you will need to use the beaver builder responsive layouts to determine whether those effects are showing on different devices so I think that pretty much covers uh, those three effects, but uh, it's quite nice to have all of that uh, free stuff uh, available to us. So anyway, that's the uh, start of my look into freebies. I hope it's going to be useful to someone and I'll catch you again on another video. So bye bye for now. Bye.